the different law degrees. Most people think the path to becoming a lawyer is pretty linear. Undergrad, LSAT, law school, bar exam, practice law. But there are more law degrees out there aside from a JD, and each one determines whether you're capable of suing someone or not. In this video, we're going to talk about the differences between a JD degree, an LLM, a master's in law, and a legal certificate. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified and stay up to date on all our latest videos. Now, when people talk about law degrees, they're usually thinking about a JD, the Juris Doctor. This is the degree you'll receive after attending law school, so you'll need a bachelor's and a competitive LSAT score to get accepted. Regardless of what area of law you want to focus on, Law school graduates will almost always have to take the bar exam before they can practice. But what if a JD isn't enough for you and you want to add another degree to your arsenal? That's what a Legum Magister degree is for, also known as an LLM. LLM programs are for lawyers who are seeking to deepen their professional credentials in a particular area of law. It could even help you become a more competitive job candidate for a particular firm. These programs typically take one year to complete. Some law schools offer joint or dual JD LLM programs. The main things about LLM degrees to remember are that you need a JD to apply for an LLM unless it's a dual degree program and that they are not required to practice law. The last two degrees don't require JD and apply to a broader group of people. Legal certificates are a great option for people looking to either broaden their knowledge of the law or deepen their focus in a particular area. This could include paralegals, court reporters, or legal administrative assistants, or sometimes even lawyers who want more knowledge in an area of law. You won't need a JD, but you usually do need a bachelor's to apply for a legal certificate program. You also can't practice law or take the bar exam with just a legal certificate. Similarly, a master's in law won't allow you to take the bar exam either. A master's in law is usually for someone who is interested in the law but might not want to be a lawyer. So to recap, if you want to practice law as a lawyer, you need a JD. If you have a JD and want to get some more knowledge in a specific area of law, get an LLM. If you don't want to actually be a lawyer but still want to gain knowledge in the law, consider a master's or a legal certificate. Full disclaimer, some states allow you to take the bar exam without going to law school, and some states allow you to practice without taking the bar, but that's a topic for another video. In the meantime, we hope this cleared up some confusion about the different law degrees. If you settled on a JD in law school, check out the rest of our videos for law school admissions advice and LSAT tips.